case, a briefcase. Does no one else think that's, oh, I don't know, a little freaky? Do you know Boss Baby could have ended differently? For some of us, the ending we got was not what we were expecting. There are some tiny details in the movie that if changed, could have led to a whole different ending. And we're going to be talking about that right now. Are you the baby Jesus? Yes, I'm the baby Jesus. <gasps> First, a recap. So, in the original storyline, Boss Baby was sent on a mission to the Templeton family on a secret mission. And what was that mission? To ensure that puppies do not steal all the love meant for babies. When we meet the Templetons, we soon realize that they're a wonderful family, and Tim is the only child. His whole world is turned upside down when he gets a newborn brother who wears a suit and a briefcase. The baby now gets all of Timothy's parents' love, which he used to receive, which makes Timothy mad. By a stroke of luck, one night, Tim finds out about the fact that his younger sibling can talk, and he thinks the baby brother was a spy. So he sets out to prove to his parents that the baby they brought home with them was an imposter and that they needed to get rid of him. Boss Baby explains his mission to his brother, who promises to help him so he could get rid of him faster. Boss Baby and Tim were simply supposed to just work together and afterward go their separate ways. Boss Baby was supposed to go back to working for management at Baby Corp, while Tim went back to being the only child, but when the movie ended, that was not the case. Boss Baby Baby actually chose to return to the Templeton family and live his life as a baby. In every situation, I ask myself, WWSCBF BBD, what would super colossal big fan boss baby do? sucking pacifiers together. This was the first time both brothers were in the same room and not trying to rip each other's head off. At this point, Tim had put his vendetta against Boss Baby aside and was ready to help him meet his goal of stopping Puppy Co. There could have been a thousand ways to go about their mission, but actually sitting to suck a pacifier together would not have crossed anyone's mind. Even though Boss Baby was throwing some orders to Tim while they sucked the pacifier, this scene was one of the scenes that really changed Boss Baby. But seeing Tim and Boss Baby suck on the pacifier, one could not help but love the sibling moment they both shared. When their father walked in, we could see the look of surprise and contentment on his face. I mean, which parent would not be glad to see their children getting along? They could have continued with their rivalry, and Tim could have decided not to call Boss Baby's bluff and not help him out, and that would have totally changed the entire movie. Come on, you said you never really had a childhood, right? Why don't you give it a try? No, 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 it's no, fun. no, no, can't. Here, let's get you into character. Meet Elvis. What better way to bond with your brother than to dress up like Elvis Presley and go crime fighting? Right before this really funny scene, we were actually thrown a very emotional and soul-moving scene. Little Tim Templeton and his bossy brother got into a little bit of a fight at the airport that made both of them go their separate ways. Tim sat on the floor of the hospital crying his eyes out while singing the lyrics of the Beatles song Blackbird, a song he previously thought his parents composed just for him alone. He receives a call from Boss Baby, who apparently had a change of heart and was more sober this time. He says a couple of things about his brother and how he can't do this without him, and how they were a team. This was one of the scenes that really changed how we saw Boss Baby, and I would say really changed the entire trajectory of Boss Baby. I mean, Boss Baby could have continued being the annoying bossy brother to Tim and still got his mission complete. Because if you think about it, Tim wasn't supposed to be part of the mission. Boss Baby was more than capable of completing his mission without Tim. But here we see a change in Boss Baby, and it certainly changed whatever else was going to happen in the movie. Let's have another show! No, Teddy, no! No more to hug! No more shows! Boss. There's plenty of love to go around! Teddy, go to sleep! On the plane. If we say we did not enjoy seeing Boss Baby's transformation from an annoying, controlling, and overbearing little chap to that considerate and thoughtful brother, then we would be lying. At the beginning of the movie, all Boss Baby was concerned about was completing his mission. He didn't care about getting his brother to like him, and he didn't care about being a softy. But on the plane, we see him holding Tim's hand after Tim told him that he always got scared on the plane, and his parents always reassured him by holding his hands. He didn't have to hold Tim's hands, but he did, and this was one of those scenes that that viewers would have definitely bawled their eyes over. We loved seeing this scene play out and what it meant to the entire movie plot. You want to hug me, don't you? Mm -hmm. Ah! Oh, I'll miss you too, buddy. Okay. Baby without the formula. When the baby formula finished, we saw Boss Baby gradually revert into an actual baby. This was a shift from his typical self. 
In his relationship with his brother Tim, Boss Baby was always the adult, making the rules and ordering Tim around. He was the one with the plans, and Tim's role was simply just to follow and complain. It must have been really exhausting to be an adult when you were actually supposed to be a baby. So when the baby formula finished and Boss Baby began acting like an actual baby, he realized that being a baby was not really a bad thing, especially when you have an older brother who was always carrying you around and would go to any length to keep you safe. Tim really stepped up to the occasion of being a responsible big brother to a baby that was always terrorizing him. Boss Baby had always detested the idea of being a baby. He preferred to be in upper management, where he called all the shots and made people People grovel. But having an actual baby experience, even if it was just for a short while, definitely changed something in Boss Baby's mind and made him realize that he could actually have a fun time being a baby. Meet your new baby Baby what? Blackbird on the Rocket Remember we mentioned earlier that Tim Templeton thought the Beatles' Blackbird song was composed for him by his parents? Well, Boss Baby came along and changed Little Tim's fantasy by telling him that, hey, the song you think was composed for you by your parents was actually sung by a popular boy band. Well, he didn't exactly use those words, but he definitely made Tim know that the song was not his alone and that he was not as special as he thought he was. In the rocket scene at the end, when Boss Baby, who has now turned into a full baby, was on a rocket that was ready to blow him to pieces, we see another scene that was not only emotional for Boss Baby and Tim, but for everyone else who watched the scene. Tim was trying to get the baby to jump into his arms before the rocket shot into the sky, but all his attempts did not pull through. It wasn't until Tim began singing Blackbird to Boss Baby that the baby looked at him, suddenly aware of what was happening, and he jumped off the rocket into Tim's arms. What this scene signified was that Tim had accepted that he alone was not that special and that there was room for another baby in his family. By singing his special song to the baby, Tim was letting him know that Boss Baby was special to him and that he was ready to share his special things with him. Even though Boss Baby didn't immediately choose to stay back with Tim and his family, in the end, we see that he realizes that he had such a great time with Tim and his family, and maybe there was something more to life than being the boss and having a corner office. So when Tim sent him an invitation, asking him to return as his baby brother, he took it. All his experiences with Tim definitely changed him and changed how the movie would have ended. Well, we've come to the end of today's video. They fired me! And took away my special formula! If you enjoyed it, please let us know in the comments. Also, don't forget to share this video, and if you've not subscribed to our channel, please click on the subscribe button so when more amazing videos like this one drop, you'll be the first to know. Oh, you want this? One thing was clear. He was the boss.